Hi guys! Today's video is on hamster playtime or free ranging. But what about free ranging? As many of you know, I let my hamsters free range, which is something that should be done safely and sensibly. Free ranging is when a hamster or any pet is let to run around without a ball surrounding them or playpen. It is letting your hamster run free in a room. Doesn't sound too bad, right? Wrong. There are numerous of problems that could happen and I'm here to help you safely free range your hamster. First of all, there are a few methods that people mainly use for giving their hamster playtime. And playtime is something that all hamsters should have and enjoy. Playtime should be given every day at least. I know my hamsters absolutely adore playtime, especially Misty, and if she doesn't get it, she's not happy. So it's vital that I give it to her. Otherwise they can gain too much weight. You don't have to free range. There's loads of other methods you can use, but here are the most common. The four most common playtime methods. Playtime in the bath. Playtime on the bed. Playpen. And the ball. And how are my pets exercised? Free range of course. And today I'm going to tell you how to safely free range your hamster. Misty, my winter white, is completely tame. She adores human company. Misty is allowed to free range around my room for at least an hour every night. Misty comes back when I call and I know her very well so that when she's allowed to free range completely on her own. Mickey, however, is my hybrid and I've owned him for two months now. However, he is still not allowed to free range properly. He has close supervision and I often wear one glove just in case he decides to nip me and I find it hard to catch him. Rules when free ranging. Your hamster must be tame. Now this is probably the most important rule out of all of them. You cannot let your hamster free range if you can't handle it properly. You must be happy around your hamster and it must be happy around you. If you have a shy hamster then there's a very slim chance that you'll be able to catch it at the end. And if you've got one that's very nippy you'll find it hard to catch as well. So make sure you have a good bond with your hamster like I do with Misty here before you let your hamster free range. It's just so important and I can't stress it enough. There's a very big chance of losing your hamster if it's not tame so make sure before you free range or even think about free ranging your hamster is 100% tame. Until you can properly free range choose a small room with little stuff. This hall I have here is my hall and all the doors are shut and it's a big open space so I can watch my hamster wherever it will go. It's ideal to bring the cage in as well because that way the hamster will feel secure. However, as you can see with Misty, I haven't here. She is running across the hall which is great because I can see her very clearly. If you have loads of furniture it will be hard to see your hamster and there's a big chance that you will lose them so choose an empty space first. And then always have a treat on you that your hamster adores. So that if you do need to catch it, you can lure it in by treats. Something like millet, which both my hamsters absolutely adore, is very healthy and it's not too bad if you give it slightly occasionally than any other treat. It's very ideal to not feed your hamster before playtime so that they will come back to you because they're hungry. And you must be able to catch your hamster quickly in case of an emergency so make sure that you can handle them as well as them being tame. You must be able to handle them across your hands safely without getting worried. If you're unsure do use a glove but if you are that unsure then I don't think you should free range. Make sure all other pets are out of the room. It's so dangerous if a cat was to walk in. It could easily catch the hamster and kill it in a minute. And you must be alert and happy and ready to catch your hamster if necessary.
And that's it from the Hamsters, Horses and Cats family today. I hope this video has helped you and if you have any questions please don't hesitate to comment below or inbox me. And I hope this has helped. I don't want to be responsible for everyone losing their hamsters and if you don't think you can do it then please don't. It's quite risky but my hamsters absolutely adore it and as you know from this video we've given you loads of tips and sort of the rules and the steps so I really hope this has helped and please let me up if you enjoyed and it helped you um, and I'll see you next time. Bye!